What is up guys? It's your average adventurer here. I have the Arctic backpack here today. Uh, this is going to be the full review. Uh, I won't have any tech specs or anything like that. If you want that information, I had a first impressions video that I did about a month and a half, two months ago. Um, you can go check that video out for, for that information or check their website. Uh, it's like arctic.com or something. Just type it in. Um, Today I'm going to focus on uh, my overall thoughts uh, on, on this backpack after my month and a half, two months of use, uh, and I will let you know, guys know what I think, so stay tuned. So first off, uh, the backpack itself is very durable. This thing has held up through just about every environment possible here in Florida. Um, we've had it on the river, um, had it on the boat, the four-wheeler, mud pits. Uh, I Even though we, we snorkeled with it, put the drone and everything in here, uh, used this as our to flow bias while we snorkeled. I just clipped my goggles to the front here. would have worked smoother if this wasn't on video there we go just clip the goggles to this front here uh fins down in here rest of the gear in here no issues snorkel right beside us i'll try and include a clip of that uh after this you'll see <laughs> um, yeah put it to the test did a couple uh, actual hikes with it um Super comfortable, uh, breathes really, breathes really well here on the back. A lot of straps here, got, got a lot going on, but uh, breathes pretty well because of this thick padding on the back. Um, not light, it's not a light pack. I don't think you would carry a cool uh, a backpack cooler if you wanted it to be light. But uh, yeah, just just so you know, it's not light. Don't know the exact uh, weight on it, but not light. <laughs> Especially loaded up with ice and stuff, but yeah, definitely it breathes really well. You got the thick padding, a lot of pocket air pockets here, um, so that's good. Your back stays pretty cool. You got the chest straps; uh, they worked out pretty well. Held it pretty tight to my back. Um, super comfortable. Sternum straps, uh, not a fan. Um, I'm five eight, two something, uh, so I'm not I'm not the smallest guy in the world. But these come up to like my belly button. I don't understand it. Uh, I don't. I don't know. All my other packs come waist high, and I love that. Um, this one comes up to my belly button. I don't really use it, but I don't really hike with this pack. It's not a pack I would like take on an actual hike. Um, you know, if we do like a mile or two, this pack is fine. Go a mile or two, have lunch, whatever the case may be. This will work great for that. Um, the beach, all that stuff. But yeah, so second thing I mentioned in my first impressions video, I wasn't sure about this strap. Um, I thought, you know, when I wasn't using it um, to carry, it would be laying on my neck, uh, bothering my neck when I'm holding the pack, or when I have the pack on my back. And if I close it up here, you can't open the pack. Um, so that was my first worry, uh, my initial worry with the pack. Well, not worry, but yeah, that, yeah, that was my first you know, gripe with the pack was was that design right there. I didn't like it. I thought it should be removable. I still think it should be removable. Um, when you wear this, it does rub your neck if you don't. If you don't do something about this and it's an easy fix you can just velcro it however but it still rubs your neck not not super comfortable <clears throat> also when you have it strapped up here and you're holding it if you're a shorter person this will drag the ground which is super su I, I know you can't see it probably but it's super annoying um i think if arctic were to put it on the side of the backpack the side of the backpack i think it would work out much better uh then when it's not in use you can just clip it so idea I have in my head, I don't know how it would work out. But you could just clip it on the side and it, it would be good. It'd be out of the way. And then when you need to carry it, you can carry it almost like a duffel and it wouldn't block the lid of the backpack. Um, I like that idea better. I'm not a designer. It, there's probably reasons it's not like that. But yeah, so that that would be my first, like I, I guess, actual gripe with the backpack or the design of the backpack. Um, I get what they were doing. It's just not for me. Um, <clears throat> second thing, or no, that wouldn't be, that would be like the third thing, I guess. I mean, this would be the third thing. Um, yeah, so the next thing, um, I, oh, <laughs> my first video, I said I wish these were, uh, bottle openers. Um, I was really hoping for it. I hadn't tested it out yet, but they're not. 
Uh, they're not bottle openers. Um, yeah, Artek, if you're listening, I think these would make excellent bottle openers. If you could incorporate that, that into the pack somehow, maybe aluminum, something. I don't know. I'd pay a few bucks more if that's what you had to do to make these bottle openers, or at least one of them bottle openers. But um, I just actually have a little carabiner bottle opener up here. Just leave it on there. Um, super easy. But yeah, I, I think that'd be a good idea. They're not, though. If you're wondering, these are not bottle openers. Um, you can try it. You might be able to get the word. Not an easy one, though, out of that bat. Um, yeah, oh, so another thing I've seen. Uh, we were at West Marine, uh, which is like a boating store near us, uh, and we saw an igloo, uh, a soft pack igloo. And I, I don't see this. I don't really... I don't, I don't deal with many soft packs, so I'm not really sure this, this might be a common thing, but it had a drain. Um, that would be an incredible idea for this, either on the bottom, I don't know where they would put it, I would, you know, they can figure that out, but uh, yeah, on the bottom or somewhere, I think a drain would be excellent. It would, it, you know, if you put ice in here and stuff starts to melt, I know you normally want that water in there, but not for this type of pack, I don't think. I think this is more for like beaches and you have sandwiches and you don't want that the ice, I mean the, the water melting and staying in the pack. I, I think having an option to drain it would be awesome because the only other option is to like funnel it with the lid or strain it I guess with the lid, keeping your contents in the pack and pouring it out with the lid um, unzipped. <clears throat> Uh, it's doable it's not ideal <laughs> but uh yeah i use the arctic i mean no i lied Ugh. i use the orion like black ice or something what is this called arctic ice i guess um i use these they fit in the pack pretty sweet they don't leave any um water and they stay cold for days but yeah so as far as ice retention goes, I don't know how this compares to any other brands. I don't have another brand of soft pack coolers. Um, if, if you do own Arctic products, uh, like I own their coolers, their cups, things like that, they're on par with any of the big brands, Yeti or not. They're almost all identical as far as ice retention goes. Uh, as far as this one goes specifically, I would say a day to two days. Uh, I get a, a day, I use just one of the R R Orion ice packs, and I'll get an easy easy day out of it um you know little might put it at the bottom or whatever contents i need in there and it'll anytime i need it it'll be cool um i haven't went, went much further than that but i can't imagine it lasting longer than that just because of the condition that's in at the end of the day uh but yeah um i don't think you would have this pack and need it for much longer than that but <clears throat> yeah so those are my overall thoughts um not the best at reviewing but i didn't find too many of these so i figured i would try and get them out as soon as possible that way you can make an educated decision and you have some education to go off of. Um, these, this, this is my specific uses also. So it's, it's the boat, um, snorkeling, floating alongside of snorkeling. That's super convenient. That does game changer for this thing. Um, that and, uh, the four wheeler putting it on my back and being able to carry whatever I need in there as I'm four wheeling and keeping it cool. Um, those are my specific needs and what I've used it for. And so far it's worked out perfect. Um, my gripes are minor. Um, E easily can be fixed or just dealt with really not a big deal and especially for the price you're paying compared to other brands i think this thing is a steal highly recommend it um, just so you know I, I paid full price for this so it's i'm not sponsored or anything like that um <clears throat> i really do like the pack that's my honest opinion on it uh hope you guys do as well if you do get the pack and you love it uh let me know and if you hate it let me know uh if i find anything in the future that i don't like about it or anything comes up that i think you guys should know i'll try and incorporate it into another video um so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the review if you want to see this thing in action um i have a couple of videos in the past about it hiking cook and some snorkeling ones you can check it out and see how it does uh they're not focused on this at all so you can skip through but uh, they're not focused on it at all but i do have those in the videos and this is my main pack that I'm using. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, if you loved it and you want some more, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.